Andrew Castro here and we're looking at the MD5 from Dismania. This is a brand new overstable mid-range mold from Dismania. This was also released in uh, awesome Color Glow C line, part of the 2019 European Open fundraiser. These are brand new. Let's take a look at these things and see what they can do. So overstable beef, I'm going to be comparing this with what's currently in my bag for overstable mid-range shots which is the MD4. I love this disc. I did a whole nother review that goes in depth about this disc and all the types of shots with it. So go and check that out. There's a link for that um, if you want to take a look at that. The MD5 is going to be more overstable than the MD4 is what Dismania is saying. Um, so let's take a look at this thing and see what's up. Um, as of current in my game, I've been thinking about getting an overstable midrange. Um, I don't bag a uh, gator or a mortar or anything like that at the moment just because I either power up or down on certain discs to get me the shots that I need. Um, this MD5 feels really good in the hand. Um, it, the color glow C-line plastic feels good. Um, the ones that I received had, some of them had a little bit of dome, like pretty mild, and then some of them were flat. So um, they both feel really nice in the hand. Uh, there is a bead on here, so a lot of people were speculating if it would or it wouldn't. It looks like there is a bead. It's not a micro bead. It's not super large, like rock-esque, like a, just a big fat bead. Uh, it, it is kind of like a medium-sized bead, so it doesn't feel overbearing in the hand. It feels uh, kind of similar to your gator, uh, in my opinion. Um, when getting out there and throwing this, this was really nice to see. Uh, for me, as far as what I expected this disc to do, it kind of hit all the benchmarks for me. There was some headwind when I was out there throwing. You can kind of see that here in that little video there where I get this roll away on just setting down my disc. But yeah, uh, there was some headwind about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Um, and when throwing these out flat, it was nice. They just kind of punched out there a little bit more glide than I anticipated. And then it had a nice finish over to the left. You got a nice little skip out of that. When throwing these on a Anheuser release, uh, this was really awesome to see. Um, it popped up like it uh, over off to the right, like it thought about turning over and then just immediately uh, kind of had some finish, hard finish out over off to the left. Um, one thing I did notice is it kind of had a little bit of forward punching glide in that flex shot. So that was really nice to see. And I also got some good distance out of that. So that was a big plus for me, seeing a full flex flight out of this mid range and having it come back over left with a lot of confidence was really good. Um, and that was kind of continuous when throwing this on that Anheuser line. So that was a big plus for me. Um, when throwing this on a Heiser, it was also really good. Um, this got up and down really fast, which was really nice to see. Had a nice spike and a little skip finish off to the left. Uh, the reason why I like that is on the MD4 is when I try some of that Heiser line, this likes to punch forward a little bit more where the MD5 got up and down really fast, which was something that um, you know I can see myself needing, so that was a big plus. Uh, I really liked seeing that. Um, when throwing this sidearm, um, this is where I feel like it kind of excelled for me. The MD4 I can throw sidearm, but I have to finesse it. The MD5 just really kind of took took the power um, and like snap, which for me, I guess, you know, if I'm describing that right, gives it torque in that disc. So. Um, when I got over on this flat, the headwind kind of pushed the MD5 a little bit over to the left a little bit more, but it was nice to see uh, the disc fight back over to the right, touch down, and still have some momentum to finish out right on a skip, so that was good. And then when making the adjustment, um, you know, you can see that it just pushed forward through it and then still finished over right. Um, when throwing this on an Anheuser, it was nice to see it. The wind, again, still kind of pushed this out a, lo a little bit over to the left, but it was nice to see the disc still come back over and finish off to the right. With the MD4, sometimes those just kind of hang out and finish off straight for me. Um, it was nice to know that I can really get on this on a mid-range if I want to really lay into something and have it come back and finish shorter, where maybe powering up and down on my FD3 might uh, give me a different type of uh, end result. Um, overall, I really enjoyed testing this disc. I'll probably be moving it in and out of my bag to see if it makes it or it doesn't just because it's too early for me to see uh, with where my game is at if this knocks something out right now. 
but I really enjoyed throwing this disc. Um, overall, it, it performed as I expected it to, um, so um, there was no big surprises other than the glide, the amount of glide that this had. So I thought that was nice to see. It still gave you some distance, but still had the confidence and the reliability uh, and knowing that it was gonna finish over left. Um, so yeah, again, overall, I enjoyed this disc. I'll probably be messing with it, see if it makes my bag or not. Um, but yeah, guys, the brand new MD5 from Dismania beaded over stable mid-range uh, from Dismania now. We got some mid-range beef. A lot of people have been wanting this, so hopefully this guy, uh, this disc uh, fits your guys' needs. Go check one out. Color Glow Sea Line European Open 2019 six stamp. Go get one. Check it out. MD5. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, uh, hopefully you guys get out there and play some disc golf. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, please, if you guys want to check out some more content. And yeah, everyone, have a good one. Go play some disc golf.